savor the ship's last drop of ale. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. This is Eric Malkavian, and I am among the pillars of eternity here in the Dead Fire Archipelago. Taking a look at a journal, we found all of our helping hands. Next. We need to seek out some means of repairing the ship, the Defiant. Alright, so we're going to look for some assistance nearby. Forgotten Sanctum has been installed. Let's see if it's upon that altar. Secret Sanctum is installed. Okay. So, this is where we are. Our next locale is here. That's weird. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's for, um, here in the distance, you see a simple wagon, the angle at which it rests on the road. One side jutting above the other suggests that it's been damaged or disabled. Even from your vantage, you can make out Kith milling around. Let's go ahead and sneak closer. Excellent. As you near the cart, you make out a group of Raidisaran pilgrims in rough spun linens and cotton. A single draft horse stamps at the ground impatiently. As two of the pilgrims argue over the front right wheel which seem hopelessly stuck in the road. Let's approach openly. One of the pilgrims notices you. Her step back draws the attention of the others. The man in well-worn Gavison steps forward. The weight of the deep concern hangs on his face. Did the dreams bring you here as well? Ah, the other pilgrims look to you. The mixture of apprehension and hope. Dreams? We are farmers come from Reyes Serra to work the colony fields here. We're believers, all to the one in light the atheist. The other pilgrims nod fervently in agreement. A woman with a smiling baby lifts the infant's hand to wave. We've been having dreams. Three stars sailing through the sky. Pissing the black of a storm cloud. Figure it must be him, if this calling to us. So he came here to the place we saw in our dreams. The pilgrims look around, matching their sleeping memory to the present. We saw the giant pass with three stars on his brown, but sign adjusted why it's up. Sad to say we could not follow him. We're stuck as stuck you get. None of us are strong enough to lift that corner up to get something under it. More than one of us try, and we just get in each other's way. Okay. <laughs> well, let's take a look. Trying to find some pilgrims. Okay. Brief inspection reveals that the wagon is undamaged, but the wheel's stuck fast in mud. We've got some good wood. The old man says as he gestures to the back of the wagon. If we can get the wheel up, we can slide underneath it. 
Not a wagon, you see several planks of wood, small box of valuables sits to the side. One of the young dawn stars look at you, Osborne. Reckon you can lift it? <laughs> uh, let's lift the corner. We're not going to steal the strong box. No, we're not going to do that. Okay. Brief inspection reveals that the wagon is undamaged. We'll stop. Right, 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 right. I think our former Aeth Asian can. Success. Adair squares himself to the wagon's corner, squats deep, and rests the wheel up from the mud with a grunt. The young Dawn Star stands in, in shock for a moment, reacting just in time to thrust a thick board beneath the wheel. It takes the better part of an hour to lay down a safe path for the wagon to roll free of the mud. The laboring Dawn Star is glistening with sweat, but laugh happily they sing songs of praise for Aethus. Two hours have passed. All right. Smiling, the leader presses a small pot of coins into your hand. Appreciate the help. Without you, who knows how long we've been stranded out here. Begin to prepare the wagons to take the lead. Okay. Two pennies. Take care of yourself and your soul, traveler. What do you came for? Hey, this not. We know in our hearts that he's come for us. Oh, well, that's interesting. Hmm. Boy, it's getting kind of late, is it? Known locations? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Sour to the rice farm. Looks bountiful enough to welcome trade. Oh, they got some food. Hmm. So all I have is rice. Tar loaf? Take a couple of them. Yeah, maybe we we'll take a few more. We need to bring back some for everyone. Alright, so. Eight of this. So we want that away. What am I doing here? I gotta find some help. Alright, so we need to find a settlement. that means I guess there are bandits in the woods from what we can see from a distance ah here we go here we go port mayor my Port Mahay Harbor, Deep Spring, Pina Well, here we are. Let's take a look around. Better see what that crowd's about. This. Why 
not if the giant comes this way. Please, everyone stay calm. The man at the center of attention appears to be fielding inquiries from both the gaggle of townsfolk gathered around the platform and rather severe looking at move of woman standing just beside him. Please, everyone remain calm. I assure you I will do everything in my power to get you the answers you need. Our friends among the Huana have offered you hospitality and safety from the storms. The Mua woman folds her arms. Yes, yes. I think we are all keenly aware of the debt of gratitude we owe to thee. I have personally seen to the safety of your homes. Now you will do the same for our families. What about our families? What about the ships? How are we supposed to feed ourselves? If everyone would... As Clario's gaze sweeps the crowd, falls upon you where it remains. Two more heads turn to see what has caught the governor's attention. It's one of the pirates. Um, not a pirate. Everyone stay calm. I think it's clear our guest is nothing of the sort. Two of my guards reported a ship flying deer wooden colors, fallen prey to a private vessel. That would be your ship, I assume. Crowd quiet, someone at like that. Though you still find yourself the target of a few glare. That would make him lucky. Your own vessels do not usually fare so well. Woman regards you with a bland curiosity. Quite. Just need some repairs and I'll be on my way. Fair complaint. Everyone, forgive me. I believe this matter requires my attention. You have my word that I will keep you apprised of any changes. Especially you, Mr. Ikawa. Do not flatter me with Balian titles. You are distracted with your newcomer and wish me gone. But I will not go far, Governor Clario. Grade. As for you, stranger, let us speak at my estate. We'll discuss your predicament. Darian Captain. Are you here to stay? I have no idea if I'm here to stay. Excuse me? Uh, what a mess. Hello? Where did you come from? Well. I guess we need to go talk to that. That governor. Which way did he go? I didn't even notice which way he went. I do, and a good day. Let's see what's going on here. Who are these guys? Accept the light, and you shall be redeemed. A woman shouts, arms raised high and wide. In each hand, she grips a golden candle. Ah, oh, days in print. Flames gutter as wild as she gestures at the crowd before. The missionary holds a candle to drip wax in the shape of three stars on the forehead of each kneeling worshipper. One of them stumbles back, swiping the hot wax from his skin. Sefutito, Madicchio, I did not sign up to be burned. Huh. Huh. Watch. Okay, from within a crowd. The priestess trembles her arms, face pinched with disappointment. And a warm sea breeze from the port, loose strands of her sun-streaked hair whipped by her head like a living halo. This flame is not for purification. It is for illuminating the darkness. Sanctification comes only as a result of your journey. But the light will guide your way. Really? She tilts her head toward the sky. Eyes shut. She drags a shaky hand to dribble wax across her own brow. Avis has returned at last. 
but it's not too late to redeem ourselves. As surely as my fingers are webbed, I tell you, gone, never left. Despite her contrary words, the Hua woman shrugs, dissecting the golden wax. Sakes alive, Wangliss. Ain't we got more pressing matters to attend to than a baptism? Arms cross her chest, a short, duskier woman watches the ritual with an only sort of expression. Her delicate chin jetted up. We just missed one of the biggest reapings of all time. What about the souls that need us? Um, she steps forward, she reaches for a peculiar lantern strapped to her Do not hip. push me on this, you wayward child. You'd leave the living for Lauren to service the dead? Rather than discouraging the other dawn star, the accusation seems to kindle a stubbornness inside her. Shoulders set, she grins. Here, I'll light them all at once. <gasps> Metal clanking, she sways an airily lit lantern in an intricate pattern before her. The priestess bites her lip, swinging harder and harder and faster. Lies, arms hurling the weapon with a deceptively hidden strength, so she stresses hard out towards the crowd, splatting everyone with wax. What souls are you on about? The ones I dreamed died. Her words falter as she gets a good look at you for the first time. I'm guessing you're not here for the baptism. Uh. You dream people died? Sure did. I get those kind of dreams sometimes. The ones that turn out true. Okay. Nightmares more like terrors that come true. Okay. Shows a palm across the back of her neck. Had him since I was a little girl on the farm. Guess Gone was speaking to me even then. Some of our brethren suffer from these visions more than others, while some of us, favorably, have none at all. It ain't a curse, it's a blessing, a mark of the divine. What happened here? It's madness, right? Who'd have thought a giant green statue might storm through the port? Hmm. At the memory, her pupils gobble up the warm brown of her eyes. Main darkness gleams wickedly. I did. I dreamed it for months, again and again, and night and day, until I pushed the others to come here. We told the governor, but he wouldn't evacuate on account of me. Uh, not knowing exactly when our god might arrive. Okay. No one believed it. But how could we know? What if I was? No, I don't think you are. You got this feeling about you. Like you got a greater purpose to see to. Um... You know where I can find a governor? I surely do. I already asked him to let me inland, on account of my dreams that came true. Okay. But he's not giving out the location of the Audra Pillar. You think he'd tell you? You're not permitted, child, because it's too dangerous. But you never listen. <laughs> Yet I hear you all the time, Wangliss. Grimace is bearing her Gone's teeth. been calling me here. Left the breadcrumbs in my dreams. I need to get inland. If you're going, I could help you. Swear on my soul. Why do you want to go inland? There are souls needing their last rites. I ought to shine them the light, else they might get lost. Shine them the light. Enough nonsense, Jyoti. No one knows if anyone's even died. You've no business going in there, risking your own safety, risking our mission. Um. Wangliff, you got the living and I got the dead. Gone bids it, and I dreamed it. Leave it be. I don't really understand. We it. all serve our purposes. So what's yours? I'm a watcher. So you can see souls? <laughs> That's a handy talent to have. I know my harvesting would benefit from it. Harvesting? What are you talking if about? If you're looking to talk to the governor, I might guess you're thinking to go inland. If so, watcher, yeah. will you take me with you? Tag along, sounds as long as you don't get in the way. Uh, 
Well, first of all, say I let you join me. How would that benefit me and mine? Reckon I'm good with wounds, both inflicting and healing them up. Oh, okay, see? You're a bit of a healer. Me and my brethren may not see eye to eye, but they'll all admit I'm sturdier than a weed and just as stubborn. I won't die on you before it's my time. How deep are you as a healer? I got an eye for stages. Life and death and in between. Like progressing forward. Or sometimes backwards. It's okay. all just change happening in different states. Plus, gruesome doesn't bother me. Guess her skills had something, I suppose. <laughs> Editor's bridge himself, scrapes some off the side, his weapon doesn't look up. Sounds like a vote of confidence to me. <laughs> Salty beams happily. Well, what's it to be? Alright, well, I guess that's a good, fair proposition. I enjoy the company of a priestess, kind of. I know an offer rare as hen's teeth when I hear it. Yeah, I'm taking it. You won't regret this. It's kind of weird. Um. Uh, hey. <laughs> now I'm looking in Zoti's direction. Seems suddenly focused on something in the distance. Tattoo, she sounds just close by his side. At least take care, child. Come back to us in one piece. If not for my sake, then Sawan's. Who's Sawan? So don't tell her. What the high priestess doesn't know won't hurt her. Grinning, Zelty weighs her brother and Kurt parting. Um. 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 Where's the priest? I, what in the world is a harvester? Well, okay. Well. I have never met a priest of 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 any of this. I ha well, we'll see. Um, one second, Zoti. I uh, mean, Ed are gonna have a word. Um, what do you need? You want to talk for a second? I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. one second. You want a word? What do you need? Hey, what's going on? The children of the Dawn Stars. I wondered if we'd run into them down here. What in the world are they, Edder? Who are these guys? They're kind of weird. There's someone I used to know. Just a, an old friend. Came out here to settle with them last I heard. Maybe we should ask around. See if she's still out here. Might be she can help us. Just a friend, huh? This is kind of supposed to be a quiet conversation. Okay, anyway, Ender. How do you know her? Oh, uh, well, both grew up in Gilded Vale, same temple. Okay. Let's see. Be trying to hide it. Well, cheeks are red. All right, all right. We, we used to, uh, it's a big deal. deal. So, okay. <laughs> she was real loud, too. Used to have to cover her mouth or she'd get the dog howling in the next room. Okay. So, you guys are. Wow. Training. His Zoti face models bright red and she turns away. Hands covering your... You know Zoti? Or you know someone else like her? <laughs> Sounds like a special woman. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. You're gonna like her. I got a good feeling. Okay. I'll take your word for it, man. You've been with me from Gilded Vale, so... Light path. This is kind of weird. Um, what? What does that mean? It's at least four levels higher than your feels all more assured. Interested in reconnecting with him, he used to settle in the dead part. Well, 
Um, that's something we'll have to get back to. We gotta get on with this. Um, Bonarini. Uh, yeah, I've gotta get back to this. Let's go see the governor. Um, yeah, let's go see the governor. All right, guys. Um, Dawn Star. Poor, I guess before we head out, I want to talk to this Wangler. Hey, hello? You watch over her, you hear? That's one of ours whose fate you've taken into your hands. Uh, uh I will? For God's sake, I don't need Nanny and Wangler. I've reaped more with my two hands than you'll dream in a lifetime. Oh, she's talking about killing people. Are you talking about killing people? And you've pride in that? Let's see. Do you see why she needs guarding? You must shield her light. Do not let her lose it or her life. Do you Shoot seek her. a blessing from the light? Um, looking for someone who came here years back. If it's a fellow missionary you seek, then you might talk with Nordigand at the temple in Nekataka. She's been around a while. Knows more of us than most anyone else. Okay. There we have it, Eddard. Looks like uh, that lady in Nekataka. Okay. All right. So let's go, guys. Um, we need to go see the government. Actually... You know what? We probably what we need to do is get back to our people. But let me check the map here. Ah, there's the governor's house. All right, let's go see the governor. Uh, uh, first off, let's start in the market. No, let's go see the governor. It's rare to see one your time. I'm sure. Um, I've got a good friend named. You have to do something. Any of us could be next. Oh? I cannot imagine who might wish to harm you, Master. Ooh. Hello? Per complanca. Don't tell me you're here to complain, too. Guardsman covers his face, groaning. Dear Virus, are they recruiting right off of the docks? You would think the Juana were storming the Kraken's eye as we speak. Um, what's going on? A fight, Mestre. One of the Juana women attacked a merchant. He has come out the worse for it. No doubt. Jerks the door, thumb towards the nearby door. Now every nationality in town wets himself in terror of losing his coin to the Almawa. We would bring in the thief, but Clario would not have us march into the village and defend Ikawa. Much longer, and I do not think any of us will have a choice in the matter. If you want the details of it, speak to Rinko himself. He will delight in telling you the tale. Uh, Dalmar makes a sharp gesture and turns away. <laughs> She's got a light up really high. <laughs> okay, so I guess some guy in there has a uh, story to tell. Um, I'm not sure what to make of that anyway. I need to go see this governor. Let's go see the governor. She wants to go see the governor. I want to go see the governor. Because we need some help with the repairs. What marvelous carvings. Oh, yes. This one is many centuries old. Blessed by Ngati herself. Magnificent.
Okay. Dear Roden Captain, are you here to stay? Uh, I knew the Death Pirate was full of strange beasts, but I did not expect one so large. Oh my god. Well, I did. Got my car was steak. So let's see Mr. Governor. Hello? Will do. Ah. Governor Clara. Ah, yes, there you are. As governor and under the auspices of the Balian Trading Company, Please allow me to officially welcome you to Port March. He spreads his arms in a subdued flourish. Well, I have several good acquaintances with the Valian Trading Company. I should let you know. I'd like to say the pleasure's all mine, but I try not to lie. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm only here on account of him. Bob's are heading in your direction. Of course. I see you've been as quick to involve yourself as ever. Clara's tone is polite. There's a strained edge to his white spots. It turns from salty to Jesse. Apologies for that little drama outside. These are confusing times, and people often react poorly to uncertainty. Right. Between the storm, the pirates, and the, well, certain strange events, we are all a little on edge. He spreads his hands in an apologetic gesture. Um, strange event? A few, well, quite a few people here in Port Marge claim to have seen a giant of some kind during the storm. Hmm. I'm not surprised. I would call it a flight of fancy, but unless something has tainted every well in the region, I do not think it can be ignored. Hmm. But then, the dead fire is a land full of such things. You must have heard the stories. Uh, that wasn't a giant. That was Aethus. The governor's mouth of voices, ah, of understanding, studies you for a moment. You'll find good company among the Dawn Stars here in town. They have all manner of theories concerning the behemoth. Rifles casually do a few papers. Now, to the matter of your ship. You're stranded, are you? It was a rough landing, by all reports. Indeed. Unfortunately, our own ships are in no condition to sail. We've had dealings with the pirates ourselves. They've taken their share of supply ships. The storm saw to those berthed in the harbor. All that said, I believe I may have a solution, provided you're willing to help me in turn. I'm the lord of Cadnua. Couldn't I, uh, owe you a favor? Cadnua? A dear wooden castle, is it? An interesting proposal, to be sure, but I'm afraid the matter at hand is rather urgent. Mm -hmm. I have the guards on the lookout for pirate vessels looking to take advantage of whatever damage the storm caused. We've cannons enough to see them off, but I need every man ready to use them. Right. There is a site of some considerable value elsewhere on the island. A value to the trading company, you understand. In point of fact, it's the very reason any of us are here. Okay. You're familiar with the luminous Adra trade? Hmm. I know that Luminous Audra. Let's see what this is mean. Metaphysics. History. I know that Luminous Audra is native to Deadfire. It's also quite valuable. When refined, it sells for considerable sums. The trading company has invested a lot of time and money into locating sites suitable for mining and processing. I see. How valuable are we talking about? Valuable enough to make sailing across the world seem like a sound investment. Okay. We, a 
And I hope you understand that these matters require some discretion. Have one such outpost on the other side of the island. A successful venture up until very recently. We sought to improve the refinement process. To that end, we hired some of the brightest minds in the field of animancy and brought them out here to lend their expertise. Animancy. We're back to animancy. Are you guys insane? And then one evening, a storm rolls in out of nowhere, and my scouts begin to report that the giant has marched its way across the island towards my dig site? What am I to make of that? He's after more soul, I can tell you that. We haven't heard from Mestre Odorisi since, nor any of his assistants, or the workers. I must know what has happened. If Odorisi, if his work is lost, then everything that we have worked for is at risk. Which is where you come in. You need a ship, I need information. See to this for me, and I'll set half the town to work. We'll patch up your ship, and you'll be free to go on your way. And if I find this older Steve? Why, take his report on the situation and remind him that he's under certain contractual obligations. And relay my deep relief at his good health, of course. You have any idea my, what might have happened to him? I told you what happened, but you wouldn't listen to me. We could have prepared for this level of destruction. Oh. But what do I know? I'm just a priestess with prophetic dreams. Ariel's jaw tenses, but it otherwise ignores Zoti's clarion. The Huana storm speakers should have kept the worst of the weather at bay. I can't imagine what else might have happened. There are wild beasts on the island, but they wouldn't have attacked an active dig site. Hmm. You, you realize if this is out there and you're worried about some research? Well, if Aeothis happens to strike down the council, perhaps then I will have time to spare for him. <laughs> so sharp, right? evident flushed by his own blout burst. So the nimble to the highest spreading smile. <laughs> do not, please do not repeat that. We each have our debts. Right. Whatever you believe is going on, you can see it for yourself. That is precisely what I want. Okay, I can do that. Gilad, then we are agreed. I will assign men to keep watch over your ship. You will find the dig site on the eastern side of the island. I'll mark it on your map here. No You'll do it for the watcher, but not for me? I see how it is. With discontented sounds, she crosses her arms over her chest. Yes! Why wouldn't I want a pack of dawn stars crawling over my Adra mine in search of their lost deity? Oh, that's quick star looking Zerti's right. One more thing. If you should recover Odorisi's notes, know that they would be of great value to me. Alright. Whoa! Lost the thread of things. Um, splendid. Okay, so we spoke with the governor. So we need to go to this dig site now. Hopefully, that won't be too difficult to hunt a god. Alright, so we need to explore the island alone. Well, I saw his footprints. I could have followed him that way. Uh, once in place in the arena. Means what works? Um, or I see the head and master. That sounds really dangerous. <laughs> it really does. But um, danger is my middle name, I guess. So, hold a second, who's this? Hello? 
It seems as if you had a narrow escape. Pirates have been bold of late. Royce. Well, who is this? Oh, a guard. He's just pacing back and forth in here. See if there's anyone else I can talk to out here. Hello? Well, what's you inside? Yes, I just spoke with him. Just more guardsmen. Okay, well, um, let's step outside here. And... You must gather. She was saying something. Sorry, I cut, cut her off. <laughs> Let me talk to uh, Zoti for a second here. Happy to oblige. Oh, wait. About time we took a breather. My feet are blistered something fierce. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be from down here, down south. <laughs> uh, I, I, I just. Hands brace her knees for support. She leans forward. Sucks in the breath of fresh air. Aren't you supposed to be like a light bearer? You used to be well rested. You look young, too. Her eyes never leave your face. A rosy flush slowly brightens her cheek and she beams with you with a wide brass grin. Hi. Tell me what's on your mind. Um, so what are your thoughts on this? I think you may be, um, being deceived, dearie. We talking during the Saints War or after he died? Um, let's start with the Saints War. Do you realize? Do you know about that? Tell me about him leading up to and during the Saints War. Mm, I really only know what my folks taught me. Okay. Aethys embodied Saint Wadwin, but during the war, he got blown to bits. That's the thing about human bodies. Eventually, they all gotta die. As the god of rebirth, of course, saith this would be coming back. But where I differ from my family's view, and my high priestess's view, is that I've studied the apotheosis of gone. And I know all about the backside, the downward swoop, the death part of the cycle of life. Abscission, rot, regrowth. Um, is that more Barrett's? What's gone can never be again. What comes back is changed. Always. Even if what comes back is a god. Okay, so what about your take on Aethys following the Saints' Then you war? mean gone. Sure, maybe my god still answers to Aethys as well. Why not? But Aethys died. And death requires change. He ain't what he was. Not in exactly the same way. That's why I think his other aspect, his darkness in the light, is what's burning brighter in him now. Okay, let's talk about no something No need else. to fiddle foot around. I'm listening. Should you be swearing so much as a priestess? <laughs> Reckon not. Right. But I can't help but be a touch wayward. I don't take it too far. My ma caught me once necking in the Merkberry stalks. And of course, I fight. But I've not done much more than that. And I don't use the real ugly words. Sometimes ugly the words. feelings, they just come tumbling right out of me. Gods darn it. Edit yeah, nods in agreement. Okay. All right. Sure Check thing, Watcher. Well, that was an interesting conversation. And with that interesting conversation, I'm going to bring this episode to a close. I want to thank you for watching. I'm Eric Malkeby, and I've been here in the Deadfire Archipelago and Pillows of Eternity 2. I'm in Port Mahe. Um, got a lead on getting a ship repaired. Kind of worried about my shipmates back there. And so, let's get on with this. We're with this Priestess of Aethys, which is kind of strange. Um, she's kind of dark, really. Okay, but uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.